So this place used to be an old hospital, huh? Yeah. Now it's a condominium with big wooden birds because why not have big, big wooden birds floating around? My boss got himself a pit bull mastiff, one of the big ones, right? And I just saw it in his face as he's coming over. I was like, night, and he just fucking went right after me. And I jumped back, and I'll tell you what, it took about friggin' two seconds before I had my knife in my hand. Me, I, you know, I don't like to hurt animals, but I tell you what, that's the type of dog that if he's on your arm long enough, he can crush your bone, he'll break your bone. So if I gotta put the friggin' steel to him, I will. And oh yeah, this will stop him. Even says dog knife on the bitch. Don't fuck around. Don't fuck what are you doing? She was just talking to me a minute ago. Oh, pretty kitty? You hiding? Now she's gonna hide. There you are. Oh, hi, pretty girl. You know, what I really need is a day off from having my day off because boy my day off was a day off but I need a day off from that day off to recover from that day off you know we've all been there <laughs> usually I know what stuff is but I don't know what that is so I'm gonna poke that with a stick oh what the hell is this what is it? Why? Why is it? What is it? I don't know. No investigation. Oh. Yeah. Yep. I've come to the conclusion. This is mutant brown sponge. Now, you don't come across mutant brown sponge too often, so we're just gonna... We're gonna leave this. We, we, we gotta go. We gotta go. So let me set this all up for you. The GPS isn't always right all the time. So I arrive at the destination where the GPS put me. I call the customer and say, hey listen, I'm not sure if I'm at the right location or not. Can you please describe your residence? So the customer's like, well, I'm not too sure. It's it's kind of like in, in, a, in a place where like I'm outside but the houses end and I'm like, is it a row home? Are you in a condominium? Or is it a lone house on the corner by itself? Well, what about the road? Is it is it a paved road or is it a cobblestone road? Does it have train tracks or like trolley tracks in the road? Well, I'm not too sure. I mean, it's kind of like both, I think. Like you don't know the fucking difference between cobblestone and something that's paved? <laughs> so at this point, I'm just out there like beeping the horn so he can hear it and tell me if I'm getting closer or not. I, I'm, I'm asking more questions, you know, to try to identify what's going on here. I was like, well, what color is the house? Is it white? Is it gray? Is it brick? Well, I don't know. It's my aunt's house, but it's kind of dirty. That doesn't fucking help! And of course, the more I talk to this individual, the angrier I'm becoming, but I have to stay absolutely professional. However, I do find the guy, give him his order, and I'm just like, just one. Just one legal kill. We don't need this guy. Who the fuck needs this guy? The world will be better off without this guy because he's at his aunt's house. It's dirty. I mean, come on. You can't tell me the color of the house. You don't know if the road is cobblestone or if it's asphalt. If there's trolley tracks in the middle of it. You can't tell me the color. It's just dirty. Mm. Oh. Ah. Look what I came across. Someone threw this away in the trash with a bunch of dishes inside. It's like a new name brand igloo cooler, right? That thing still got the price tag on it. 25 bucks. You can't beat that, man. I'll clean that up. I see you, ghoul. What I could do is buy a couple cases of soda, make some ice blocks, right? Fill that up, keep it in the car, sell it to my Lyft passengers for a dollar a drink. Have a little side hustle. To my side hustle. 
That way we be hustling. Now, we shall not fight our battles alone. There is a just God who presides over the destiny of our nations. Well, not only all that, but you ever hear, give me liberty or give me death, right? Well, the guy who said that was Patrick Henry. Oh yeah, we back. We back at the 7-Eleven with the four-story parking garage on it. You know what? This 7-Eleven will not let me in. This might be the greatest 7-Eleven of all 7-Elevens, but this 7-Eleven is a non-letting you in 7-Eleven at all time. Plus, you must have a chimp head if you want to get in this 7-Eleven anyway. You're not allowed in this 7-Eleven. This man, you looking at my girl? I'm like, what girl? Points over. I'm like, that guy's your girl? Yeah. Nah, dude, I'm, I'm not looking at your girl. What, something wrong with my girl? Uh, you really need me to answer that for you? I'm gonna walk away from this conversation. Oh, life is good at the coffee bar. Do -do 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 Especially the price is just right for me. Do -do 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 -do. Just have to add water, motherfucker. Oh yeah, free coffee is real good coffee. I like coffee a lot.